uh, second distance learning assignment with your online Google site notebook. Um, and this video is to help guide you through um, if you need instructions this way. Um, if you feel like you're competent on your own, go right ahead. Um, but uh, you might want to watch this first um, before you get too crazy with your Google site. Um, so on uh, this assignment, you need to do two things on your Google site notebook. It is update the about me section and uh, respond to the week one warm up on the discussion board and we'll talk about that shortly. Um, as I'll talk about later, it's very important that you click publish when you update your site, otherwise I will not see those changes. And attach the link to your site um, to this assignment for me to check and I'll talk about why that is just so I can um, keep pace um, with where everyone is on their Google sites. So hopefully you've got your uh, Google site uh, loaded um, in the edit, um, editable format. If not, go to, um, you know, open your browser and go to sites.google.com slash new and it'll bring you and you can open up your site to edit. Um, so once you've got your site open, um, hopefully you've already added your name and uh, to the um, header bar and the landing page, the home page. Um, the next thing I would like you to do is to add a photo and so you can upload from your computer. You um, um, can upload it from your drive. I've got some photos in my Google Drive um, that I'll add to this just to show you. So if you click add from Google Drive, um, it will show your drive over in this sidebar. And then I can select a photo from my Google Drive that I have in one of my Google Drive folders. And here I'll add this photo, excuse me. Um, and then, so you've added a photo and then you're going to go down and if you double click on this box, not that box, not the about me, but if you double click here, you should be able to type a short paragraph about yourself. And, um, you know, we've already been in school for a little while, so... You know, we all know each other somewhat, but if there's anything else you'd like to share, uh, this, you know, you can use this section. Otherwise, here's some uh, questions that might be able to prompt some things you can write about yourself. So maybe something you've been up to during the pandemic. Uh, maybe you've decided to uh, develop a new talent or a... Uh, new hobby, maybe you're trying to learn to juggle, or you are uh, learning how to uh, write calligraphy, or maybe to knit, or uh, maybe you've been meditating a lot during the pandemic, something you've been up to during the pandemic. Uh, there's been a lot of crazy rumors out there, maybe you've heard a really uh, weird rumor you want to share. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, share something that you miss about non-social distancing life. So, you know, when we were allowed to uh, go places and gather in groups of more than 10 and go to, you know, sporting events or uh, movies and, you know, stuff like that. Or what have you enjoyed about social distancing life? Uh, maybe, you know, you've been able to uh, do something, you know, spend quality time with family members that you don't usually get to see as much of. Um, maybe you've 
again, tried a new talent or hobby, and then update. So just respond, update that about me section. You can delete my questions. You don't have to leave them there once you've updated your about me section. Um, and then um, that'll be the about me page. Then if you go to week one, so you, um, I just want to talk shortly about each week's page. So each week has a uh, learning target and success criteria. So you know if you're doing the right thing, since we're all in this distance learning space and uh, we're all kind of doing our own thing. Um, students will learn the biological complexity of viruses and transmission. And how do you know you've achieved that learning target? You should be able to model a virus and you should be able to explain how viruses are transmitted. Um, in each section, watch the videos, complete the readings, or interact with graphics, um, complete the activity, and use the discussion boards on your site to post and respond to prompts. So let's talk about the discussion board. So if you go to the warm-up page here, you're going to find a link or a... Uh, week one warm up discussion board. Um, so this is, if you double click on this box, you should see this open a new tab option. And it should bring you to this Google document that will serve as our discussion board. So this discussion board, everyone has access to it. That is everyone who is in my class. Periods one, three, four, five, and six. So, um, please make sure your response is unique. Do not copy and paste other people's responses. Um, if you want to change your font color to make your response a little bit unique, choose a legible font color other than black. Put your first and last name in the first column over here. So, that way I can give you credit. Please give your full first and last name. Um, so that I know that it's you. And then, so I would put, you know, William Bishop over here. And then, my computer's a little bit behind since I'm filming this. And then, warm-up question response. So the warm-up question for this week is, what are your initial thoughts and feelings about coronavirus? Um, so go ahead and respond to that warm-up question in, you know, two to three sentences, full sentences. Yes, we still write in full sentences. If somebody's already responded in this first column, just go down to the next available space. Please do not delete other people's comments. I want to be able to uh, see everyone's responses. You can read other people's responses. Just make sure yours is unique. Um, I'm trying to have us have a little bit of interaction um, as best we can during distance learning. Um, so we're using this discussion board so we can see what other people's thoughts and feelings about the coronavirus is. Um, then once you've updated your discussion board, um, go back here, and it's very important, as I said before, that you click Publish when um, you update your site. If you don't click, click Publish, when I go to view if you've done work or not, I will not see it if you haven't clicked Publish. This is a very important step. Um, so click Publish. Um, it'll show you what you have changed on your site. It shows me that I added a photo. So, um, and <clears throat> click publish again up here, and it will save the changes you've made to your site. Again, I will not see what you've changed about your site if you don't click publish. That means I will not be able to give you extra credit points for distance learning if you don't click publish. Very important step. Now, um, copy the publish site link. 
copy it here and then go back to the Google Classroom once you've updated those things. And over here, I know mine looks a little bit different because I have the teacher view and you have the student view. Um, I wish Google Sites would add a uh, student view for teachers or a student preview view for teachers so I could explain this part, but there should be a sp space over here where you can um, go ahead and link to your site. And I know I already have the link to your site from when you created it, but I want you to um, add that link just so I can keep pace with who is where and who's done what um, in Google Classroom so that I know you have done the About Me section and the Week 1 warm-up since, as you saw, there's a lot of um, more to do on the Google site. And this is just so I can keep track of who has done what on their Google site. Um, and so post that link and then click Turn In and then I will know you have done this uh, portion and I'll be able to go and check your about me and week one warm-up so that is uh, just getting us started if you um, on our Google site if you want to try to go ahead and work on your own that is fine um, all the material for the next few weeks is in there so if you're someone who's really trying to uh, get extra credit points. You can try to work at your own pace. I will be putting out more videos and assignments like this to uh, give you time to keep track of what you've done on your site.